Hello, I'm Alan Blakemore with Miller's Professional Imaging, and in this video I am going to show you how to use tethering in the Miller's School software. I will go through the process quickly for those of you who are familiar with our software. For those who are not, it is recommended that you watch the in-depth videos which can be found in the help menu of the software. This video will be broken into three sections. Order creation and preparation. Software setup and then the day of the shoot. The first thing that we need to do is create an order, give it a name, and assign it to a school. Next, we'll move on to configure. Here we'll assign a package set. I'm going to go ahead and skip through these next few screens. Once again, there are more videos in the help menu that will explain these things. And now we'll import the CSV that was provided to us by the school. Due to the fact that our CSV has field names, and I've checked this first row contains field names checkbox, all of the fields have mapped automatically. From this you can print camera cards or labels. I'm going to print labels in this instance. We'll include the grade and teacher name. We'll sort them by grade and then last name so that it's easy to find the students. and then from here we can print them. And now we'll move on to the setup portion of our video. The first thing that we'll need to do is to create a hot folder. Here I've created a folder on my desktop called hot folder. It doesn't matter where I create this or what I call it so long as I know where it's at. Next we'll set up our shoot software. In this case we're using a Canon, so this is the EOS utility. On the EOS utility you have the option to save the images on your camera card as well as to download them. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. Then I'll need to set up the destination folder. As you can see right here I have the path to my hot folder right here in this box and I'm not creating subfolders for the images. With these settings, every time we take a shot with our camera, it will download a copy into the hot folder. When we move on to the build screen, the software will prompt us to select a folder of images. Since we are tethering, we'll hit cancel here. Next, we'll click the start tethering button over here on the left side of the screen. This pop-up message tells you where the images are going to be moved to once you've pulled them into the software. We'll click Yes. And now we'll select our hot folder from the desktop, as it is here. The software is now monitoring the hot folder and we're ready to start photographing our subjects. So we'll take a photograph, now it's shown up in the light table, we'll select our image, scan our barcode, adjust our crop, order a package, save her record, and once you've done this for each subject, you'll be ready to upload the order to Miller's. That's all there is to it.